because they're all fighting? But you're missing a bunch of destroyers, so why are those not joining automatically? Oh, they have to be in that theatre's reserve? Oh, okay. Cool. I've never broken up the theatres like this before, so this is a new system to me. No, I do not want to give you convoys. Sorry. No can do. And we're out of oil again. Probably because all the capital ship fleets are out. Right, where's my army? You guys have now arrived. Um, right. Uh, you guys are defending the north pretty well. I think what I need to do here is defend Texas. Uh, let's not... <laughs> let's not do this! This, this seems silly. Alright, off you go, Mr. Anderson. Keep those oil fields. Well, those were my cruisers. Sunk by the Canadian High Seas Fleet trying to protect the convoys. Yeah, that was a loss. We seem to be back in the fray now. I do kind of wish it was possible to set engagement rules for strike fleets. Like, only go if you see a capital ship. If it's just submarines, stay in port. Not your job. They've already taken one of the oil fields, and they're about to take another. That is a cutoff waiting to happen. And if any of you are not taking the train, then you should. Yeah, now you're not delivering enough because you literally don't have enough to deliver. The fact that uh, America starts with so few soldiers is a problem. Like, there's a reason they're getting so gobbled up at the moment, because they just start with no troops whatsoever. And it takes us a lot longer to come to their assistance than it does the uh, socialists. Oh, man. The rest of you doing? Why are you not responding to this? Hmm.
I think they weren't going out because there was a single ship being repaired. Holding the entire fleet in base. Huzzah! Not too expensive to replace, but annoying. But if that fleet's just going to be pottering around out there, then that's fine. I'm not going to bother with western approaches. They have to go through the North Sea or the English Channel to get to me anyway. Unless they go all the way around. If this was multiplayer, I probably wouldn't do this. In single player, I think it's a lot safer. Just while my destroyers are so smashed up. Alright. Mr. Anderson. He's starting to arrive in larger numbers. Good. And Ready. that looks like a cutoff waiting to happen. And I'm actually going to say go ahead and push this back. Because I need to retake these oil fields if I can. Although you are... Not exactly feeling it in terms of organization or planning prep. Oh, get yourselves into position. Hurry up. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah. A couple more victories like that and we'll be out. Action. Why are you... <sighs> submarines don't matter. It's not your job. Leave the submarines to somebody else. Tank division. I would really like to send Hobart and his guys over there, but I dare not. Also, wow, you guys getting a lot of experience. How are we doing for medium tanks? Oh, hello. Sixth Armoured, congratulations, you are now one of the new Mosley army. Congrats. have tanks, but you have nowhere to retreat to. And that's going to be a big loss for you. Big, big, big loss. That's not good, though. Fall of Detroit. The American forces made their move yesterday evening to secure downtown Detroit, crossing the river of the Jefferson Corridor against the heavy Red Guard resistance. By nightfall, United States of America soldiers were negotiating the surrender of soldiers holed up in North End. East End surrendered, and the syndicalist loyalists were spotted making a retreat across West Side. The syndicalist militias have left husks of the Fisher Building, Dearborn, and the great works of Albert Kahn. It is obvious to observers Detroit is now territory of the United States of America, but not before the Red Guard destroyed the Edsel Ford Memorial Building and left a massive edifice to their cause on the viaduct signed by the notorious artist Diego Rivera. Surprised that Mexico hasn't helped. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're not wrong. Ah, paper states. Good. I mean, this goes in its entirety. to SRI. Uh, 
No, oh, Iberia's gone against Portugal. Okay. Oh, that was us sinking destroyers. All right, all right, all right. Losing so many destroyers. Well, convoy numbers are recovering. We'll be back in the fight yet. It's not over. Commune of Hawaii has capitulated to whom? USA? Well, we just retook one of the oil fields, so that's good. I am actually sorely tempted to send Hobart out here. I'm just concerned if I move my tanks that Germany is going to be able to push in against France. Although France does seem to be doing a pretty decent job of holding its position at the moment. Especially now that proper equipment is starting to flow in. And Sterling should be getting an absolute massive amount of experience from all of this. Construction four. Good, good, good. That's the 1941 construction tech. We still need to get these, though. The escort fleets have lost about 30 ships, I want to say, but they're still doing their thing. And they're getting so much experience. Wow. Still doesn't have fleet protector, though he's getting very, very close to it. Alright, we have fuel again. I think that we need to start... ...opening up the convoy raids once more. battle against the Dutch. Jan van Dolm. Well, there's your first mistake. You didn't bring Helfrich. Didn't quite get the pride of the fleet, but we did take these guys out. And this is our first real victory here. Man, we needed that. <laughs> Norway's gone. I'm sorry, Norway. USA was just much more important when it came down to it. Alright, Anderson. Let's see if we can start making some moves. Now, we have a ton of experience. We have a ton of motorized. One of the things I have neglected to do is upgrade my cavalry divisions to be proper motorized. Which I would like to do. Whoops.
That's true, we did. Oh well. Get rid of that because the cavalry division is now motorized. Another naval battle. This time again against the Germans. They have just so many more capital ships. Huzzah! Flipping fight! Too late. Way too bloody late. Son of a bitch. Okay, well, this has confirmed one thing which I was not sure about, and that is small strike fleets will not support each other. Which seems really silly if there's a big fight and you want to you know, band together and you probably want to do that and fight them, but yeah, they don't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change your template to four, 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 and forty-eight. Unfortunately, this is just reconfirming bloody doom stacks. Toil, tears, and sweat. Never was so much owed by so many to so few. The inspiring actions of our forces will hold the Union together. At least the uh, submarine's having a better time of it. Which is good. Detroit's been taken back, and we are starting to fight back against them now. As reinforcements arrive properly, I think I do want Hobart over there. I really hope that France can hold. Italy's... Actually, you know what? I could help Italy against three Sic uh, two Sic three Sicilies. Against the two Sicilies, you know what? I need to be more proactive with my armour. Poland has not yet lost. No, Poland's still fighting. Tying up a whole bunch of German troops. If Russia hadn't joined this war, I think that this would be a very, very different situation. But thankfully, Russia is in the war. On our side. That's very secure. And we're about to take that other oil situation. Good. Okay, oil network for the time being is okay. Anderson has recovered himself really quite nicely. And we're getting the convoys in so I can start actually buying the supplies and things I need. Particularly rubber from Siam. And there we go, our industry should be humming. And then once I have a surplus of like 300 convoys, I'll switch off of convoys and back onto... Um, Screen destroyers. Take the train! Even though you're a tank, you can still take the train. This 
Sana! All right, get yourselves back into position. Sort yourselves out. Sort it out. And then we'll do another concerted push with you. Excellent. Finally, we can start doing some actual naval combat buffs. I reckon that's one of the reasons why the Germans have been beating me so hard at sea is because I just haven't got any of the naval doctrines. But then again, it's January 1940. They probably don't have many more either. Let's send you out here as well. It would appear that there are a bunch of rivers that need to be fought over, and it's kind of what you do. <clears throat> Japan declared war on Germany East Asia. More extraction tech. I'm going to continue with the extraction, I think. Do a planning prep. You guys ready? No. And unfortunately, you're going to keep on messing around, moving around. Where the hell have you been? Did you go via China or something? Blimey. in the area where the submarines are active gives us more chances to take their ships out. Right, Hobart, you ready? Almost. The Eastern Seas War. Over the last century, Asia has been the con continent largely dominated by the Western powers, and though these exact powers have changed from London to Paris and Berlin, sorry, from London and Paris to Berlin, the fact has remained unchanged, much to the ire of Tokyo. Now, though, the status quo threatens to shatter as the Empire of Japan and the German Empire go to war. Despite hopes for peace, many of seen this turn of events as inevitable. Japanese plans for the Asia centred around itself were always incompatible with German dominion in the region, and with the Western Gulf in crisis, Tokyo's leaders doubted whether another chance to realise these ambitions may appear. Whatever side fortune may favour, one thing is certain, Asia's future hangs in the balance. Fentian and Qing are still fighting, and this is not going well for Fentian. Is Japan in this war? No, this is literally just Qing versus Fentian. Okay, weird. Whoa, that's a big transomer. Okay, okay. Attention. Right, you guys are ready. Let's get this party started. Uh, you could probably do with some air support, couldn't you? attack until they get here. Uh, pretty sure I told you lot to come over here. So... What you doing? All right then, tanks. With some air support, let's see how this goes. At the moment, you have complete air superiority, although the planes don't seem to be arriving. Now they are. An aggression with Japan, sure. Okay, we have some spare factories. We also really need to buy in some aluminium. Wow. And some more rubber. There we go. Convoys have again run out. 
Um, but we should now be producing everything once more. I think I would like some more fighters. I'm a little concerned about... Actually, no, we're still flipping dominating this guy. In that case, I think what I'm actually going to go for are more medium tanks. Support equipment's almost resolved. Infantry equipment's not that bad. Artillery is pretty bad. Let's get some more of those going too. Okay, good. Nice to see the infantry here is not supporting us at all. And Venezuelan oil is problematic. <laughs> we are sinking a lot of convoys now that the submarines have woken up again. This is a very intensive naval conflict. That's why it's always such a shame that this just never happens in the multiplayer Kaiserreich Weekly stuff. Because it has the potential to be flipping awesome like this is. Still don't have fleet protector. Lost another of our patrol ships unfortunately. You guys seem to be doing pretty well. Oh, yellow. Oh no, red again. Yes, sir. Oh, now you attack. Great. <laughs> when I needed the support, where were you then? Huzzah! Do Germany have any naval doctrines? Not sure. Oh, you know what? Spies. <laughs> They're literally doing nothing. Brilliant. Let's have you spy on the Germans. Intel ledger. Oh, I've got 94% uh, vision on them, so let's take a look at their doctrine. No, they have literally nothing. Which is interesting. <laughs> 